So I want to show some tips what we can do related to with customizing and COPA. And my idea for today, yesterday we had a session with Material Edge and it was really uh, deep in, in customizing and, and also related to, to what we do. So my idea today is that we go for this and I will try to leave like half an hour that we can discuss cases that you have in your company, okay? What kind of issues you have and the solutions we can use to support that, okay? Uh, how many of you use COPA in your company? Everybody, okay. Good, so that's good. And it's also costing based or account based? Okay, so I never had a customer that it's account based, okay, so it's also new for me. <laughs> but uh, I also never have a customer with simple finance, so it's also new for me. So let's talk about the COPA. Okay, uh, this is the case that I, I, I had in, in the last 10 years. So let's start it. The proposal for today, I want to go for some user exits that we use in COPA that helps for derivation when you have characteristic derivation, also valuation in a, 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 for the value fields. Okay, I'm mainly talking about costing based uh, 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 COPA, okay? Not going so deep in the account base. Uh, what we can do with multiple uh, valuation variants, that, that's, that means I can fix uh, v values in the value fields using different valuation variants, okay? The costing sheets, I don't know if you're using costing sheets for planning or also for actuals to, to, to for example, bring uh, overhead costs to, to, to COPA to, to do some kind of accrual, okay? And we will also see how to correct or fix some issues in COPA documents, okay? Because we always say we cannot fix COPA, we can. Okay, we can reverse, we can delete documents, we can do uh, a lot of things with COPA. 